Hello guys, it is 2.10 p.m. Scotty is taking a nap right now and this mama is going to prepare his dinner. We are making some pesto with some spinach here, fresh pesto. Um, I don't know if this recipe is gonna taste good or not. I'm no chef, but so far Scotty's been liking the things that I've been preparing for him. So we also have this organic baby noodles with fresh spinach. This is the noodle that I'm gonna use for later. And three cloves of garlic, and then we're just gonna add some olive oil. Now the reason why I am so particular about preparing food for him all the time, if you guys follow me on Instagram stories, and you should, um, here is my username. You will know that I spend mornings making food for Scotty, like his breakfast, his lunch, and his dinner. It's usually always different because my baby started off as being a very like eat anything kind of baby but now he does not like anything that's pureed he does not like anything without flavor and he wants to eat new things all the time otherwise he will shut his mouth and like never open it even if you beg him the only way that we can get him to eat something that he doesn't want to eat is if we kind of bribe him with the fruit so we give the fruit and then we give the vegetable we give the fruit we give the vegetable but i don't think it's okay to always give him fruits like a serving of fruits for every meal every single day and so the remedy is I'm trying to create like more yummy appetizing maybe even visually appetizing food for him so we are going to be doing pesto pasta today come closer dance for me easy tiger easy let your hair if you guys watch my vlogs at all, then you will know that I definitely am not a whiz in the kitchen. In fact, like just by opening up these cloves of garlic, you will see that it takes like I'm really awkward when it comes to kitchen stuff. But because this is for my baby, I will do what I can, um, even if it's not perfect. Everything is so simple anyway because I'm limited to just the ingredients that he's already tried. That's why everything is spinach because that's the only thing he's tried. So don't judge me if my skills are like. Really bad, I know they are, but I'm learning. I'm learning for my baby. You know, I love it when my days are so calm like today. Um, I don't really have a lot of work today and I can spend most of it like playing with Scott or making his meals. I find that those are really the days that I cherish most these days. Like not to be cliche or anything, but Honestly, like if I could just stop work altogether and just focus on Scott, that would be the best thing in the world. Like being with Scott is the most rewarding kind of work. I know it sounds so cliche to the guy, especially to those of you who don't have a kid yet, but trust me, like when you have a child, you will understand. Um, it's just every time I see him, grab yung happiness and bigayness happen. And even Slater, like every time he mentions Scott, let's say we're having dinner and then he, we're talking about something completely different. And then he mentions Scott for one second. And then I always interject and say something. Yeah, isn't he, the, isn't he the best? Isn't he like the cutest baby ever? And Slater always tells me like, dude, there's never a time where I mention Scotty and you just keep quiet. Like every time I mention Scotty, you always have to say how much you love him, how much you like just want to be with him and how great, great he is as a kid. Like, I don't know. It's just... Maybe it's like an innate mom thing. No, like you're just so obsessed with your child. I've never been this obsessed with a person in my life. And Scott is just like making me do things that I never thought I'd do, like cook. Or, well, I cook first later, but this one is different because I really research all the recipes for him. And like, I really make it a point to like really do my best as a person for Scott, if that makes sense at all. Um, I'm so excited for him to wake up so you guys can see what he's been up to lately, all his new developments. We're gonna talk about that in this video today. And I hope that I can also get to show you how he enjoys this little pesto pasta. Fingers crossed he will like it. Sometimes I do cook stuff that he doesn't like, but most of the time he does like it. So every time I see that he's like eating it all up, it makes me really happy and it makes all my effort super worth it. Okay, we have some boiling water here. I'm just gonna put this all in a bowl. And then we will dunk in the baby spinach. Just gonna get a little, like a handful. Oops. And I will let this cook for about five minutes. I've done this before, so I know this works. Maybe just a little bit more. And whatever he doesn't like, I can store anyways. 
so cool that they make like baby spinach noodles. All right, next thing we're gonna do is blitz everything inside a food processor or blender. So I have like a cup of spinach here that I've already blended before and steamed because I am very, very OC like that. I want all the vegetables that Scott eats to be safe and to be sure and it's like I already blanched everything. So that was prepared a little beforehand. Let me just clean it up because it's sticking to my cup here, my measuring cup. So I'm gonna put all of that into my Nutribullet here. So all of these garlic pieces, the cloves of garlic that we chopped earlier, we're going to combine them here and add a little olive oil and that should do the trick. Okay, wish me luck guys. I'm just following this recipe off the internet. So I hope to God this tastes good for Scott's benefit. Last thing to do this pesto sauce is to add some olive oil. So the recipe said add a 120 ml, but I'm only doing half. So let's go for 60 ml of olive oil. That's a lot of olive oil. But I feel like Scott's not gonna finish all of this pesto in one day. Obviously, he's probably gonna eat it in the course of like a few meals. So that's not too bad. And apparently, Giving him olive oil is um, giving him also good fats, so win-win. Let's mix this all together and put it in a food processor and cross our fingers that it tastes good. Okay, nice and secure. Let's do this. Doesn't look half bad. It kind of looks like a green smoothie, like right now, but... Oh, I really hope it's good. It makes me like all excited to make a recipe and when it comes to life and when I see Scott like reaching out for it or trying it out and he really likes it, just really makes all the effort worth it. I'm sure all the moms can relate. Like also when I'm alone like at night or when I have free time, when I'm waiting for him to wake up, you know what I'm doing? I'm just like researching recipes that he can eat or researching about everything Scotty. Like I don't know why I'm so obsessed, but I am. And I'm not ashamed about it. Open it up and let's give it a little taste test. Garlicky. Not bad. I like it. These are about done, I would say. So I'm just going to get the water out, transfer them to a plate, and we're done. That was super fast. We're just gonna top this off with some cheese. I don't have Parmesan, but I have Gouda. So we're gonna try to top this off with some Gouda cheese later and hopefully baby Scotty will love it. <sighs> All right guys, let's talk about Scotty's eight month update. Yes, he's already eight months old, just like that. I can't believe it. Like, I remember the days when I just first gave birth and everything was kind of a blur. I was sweating 24 seven because I was the only one taking care of Scott, of course with Slater. And um, I just didn't know what to do when he would be crying all the time and he had to feed every two hours. And like, it was just a blur. Like there were so many things happening. He'd feed for an hour and then like in less than an hour, he'd want to eat again. And so the whole time, like I just felt like a cow. Like I was a walking boob. That coupled with recovering and all the hormones and everything, it was just really crazy. But now like eight months after, even six months after, I would say things super duper changed. Like there are a lot of moms that I'm in touch with right now, like my mommy friends, and they're always coming to me for support and asking me like, Chris, how did you do it? Because I feel like I'm at my wit's end. I feel like I'm dying here. Like it's so hard, how did you do it? And I will tell you guys out there who are dealing with the same thing that it really does get better. Like immensely better. It doesn't get like a little better. It gets like times 1 million better. So hang in there. Like now, Scotty is such a joy to be with. He's always been a joy to be with, but now like more so because he's always laughing, he interacts with you when you say something, when he sees you, he's so happy to see you. Like that just really takes all of the stress away, the sleepless nights away. Um, it just really 
makes everything worth it. And I know like even when he was a little kid, I used to say that that he makes everything worth it just by seeing his face. But now even more so guys, I'm not kidding. Like grab it, grab it. It really gets better. So don't worry if you're in that boat where your baby's still a newborn, things will get better. I'm gonna show you like how Scott has taken over our lives by showing you our living room situation. Ta-da! This used to be like a plain open space and then the Skypod was like how my parents described it, right love? Slater's here. The Skypod was like a bachelor's pad of Slater. But now it's Scotty's pad because it's all <laughs> his things. Look at that. Like he baby has this, pad. it's a baby pad. He has this whole playpen here. His favorite toy bus here, his walker. And then this thing where he stands in every single morning, it's called the Porta Play. And I've been meaning to find a link for you guys, but I think it's sold out everywhere. So um, I got it from Origin Brands and I've been trying to find a link, but I can't. So basta, it's from Origin Brands. How are you? You look sleepy. I need sleep. Yeah, don't we all? <laughs> look, 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 look what I made Scott for dinner. Come It's spinach pasta with spinach sauce. Why are you making it so early? Because we're gonna go up mga later. I don't have time. Oh, oh yeah. One hito sila, sila sim. Oh, the why? Swim. Oh, okay. Well, it's good then. I'm making it then. How do you mm. like it? So bland. Of course, babies aren't allowed to have salt. <laughs> but do you think he'll like it? They put a lot of garlic for flavor. Maybe. <laughs> well, he yeah, seems to like salt. He seems to like my food anyway, so hopefully, hopefully he will like it. Okay, since Daddy Slater is not doing anything, he will join me today. Very nice and comfortable position there. Yep. <laughs> so Scotty is all the time with us, all the time with me. And I found recently that he's so good at like standing up by himself already. Like for example, he's lying down on his crib and he wants to wake up already and like we're hiding because we don't want him to see us so he'll fall back asleep. He can grab the rails of his crib, stand up by himself from lying down position and like go over the crib pa and like look for people. He'll go over, he'll look, like it's so cute and from not being able to move at all when he was newborn, yeah. like he was like the whole time gulai and then now he's so active, it's so amazing, right? And my personality na. My personality na siya. My demands na siya. Yeah, like I was telling them earlier, if he doesn't like the food that I prepare for him, mm. he will demand a fruit in between as bribe. And that's so true. Wait lang, this camera is your height. I'm slouching even. See? Okay, so you go back to your position. <laughs> Because he's so active already, then we have a bit of a situation where sometimes in the middle of the night, he will climb up his crib and try to get out. And then, because we're not allowed to like, we want him to fall back asleep, so we don't pick him up when he's awake. So he'll slip and then hit his head in the crib, which I don't like. So we're trying to figure out like, maybe get his crib out, maybe do something else. What are you doing? I'm just not oh. doing. <laughs> <laughs> like, why is this head vibrating? Anyway, so we're trying to figure it out. I think I'm gonna get rid of his crib and like let him sleep on the bumper bed. Maybe like put back a fence around it so he doesn't get out. I don't know. We're still trying to figure it out. But I feel like every day we've been trying to adjust with Scott's new developments, right love? Like there's really no way you can like plan for everything because you just kind of have to be always on your toes and like adaptable to all the changes of Scott, right? Mm -hmm. What's Actually, I just play with Scott. That's all I do, guys. Because bahala lahat. But I don't mind also because I I love taking care of Scott. It's mm. like I love it. I wish that I could just do that the whole day. It's the best. So you love, love, what do you like about like Scott now? Like he plays with you a lot. Like he interacts with you a lot. Though. Yes, he laughs more, and then parang nagpapapansin na siya when he knows how to do a trick like. Yeah, like he always watches us play mahjong, mm -hmm. and then we always tell him to kind of bang the tiles together. Mm. And so every time now that he sees mahjong tiles, he'll get it and bang it together and look at us like, yeah. "See, Dad, I'm doing it." It's yeah. so cute. It's so cute. Also, like we put him on this little walker, and we didn't expect him to learn how to walk so fast. But like mm. instantly, when you put him down, he's like running already. It's so crazy. And a lot of my friends actually told me like, "Chris." 
don't give him a walker. Don't train him to walk or run because you're gonna regret it. So I'm just supposed to like carry him the whole time and pray that he doesn't run so I'm not tired because Gabriel, they're so hyperactive. No, kids have to run. <laughs> ano na lang tayo? Exercise na rin natin yan. Yeah, massage our back na lang after. Yeah, we say that now. We say that now, but in the future, who knows? Mm. <laughs> hunos and cabinet. Oh, we need to baby-proof the hunos and cabinet, no? Yeah. Yeah, like... And our house, it's all glass, so... Yeah, because it's like Sayers Bachelor's mm. Pad-ish. We have to drain the pool. Drain the pool, put a fence around the pool. <laughs> put like bumpers around all of the corners. Oh my god, this, this house is gonna look so crazy. So, Scott... Scott proof. Scott proof. <laughs> so Scott is right now taking his nap. He still takes two naps every day. Back when he was six months old, we transitioned him from taking three naps a day to just taking two naps a day. So now he's only doing two naps a day. He takes a first nap in the morning at nine and then his second nap is at two. And sometimes he'll sleep for 30 minutes, which is really bad. We want him to sleep for at least two hours. It's better for his development, love if you don't know. And it also gives mommy like time to do other things like prepare his food or work. Cause I don't know why, like even if we already have nannies helping us out, like I have this weird thing that I really have to be there. Like when Scott's awake, I have to be with him, play with him. Like, or he has to be in my line of sight. So if he's with the nanny, they still have to be with me or I have to be with them. It's so weird. I think it's a mom thing. Maybe it's a mom guilt thing, but like, I like it that way. So it is 2.47. So he's been asleep about a little under an hour. She records all the sleep, guys. Yeah, I do. I want to be informed. <laughs> and I know that's a little bit intense, but I'm not also like, I'm just at home. So might as well, right? Yeah. Like make the most out of this mm -hmm. time so that's what he does for naps and for for like his sleep sleep at night it's been so good i think that's the i think that's the reason why slater and i are able to record podcasts because scott sleeps through the night already like he sleeps at 6 6 30 p.m and the next time i see him is at 6 30 in the morning so at night that's the time when i can really like get some work done or watch tv with hubs watch bridgerton watch bridgerton, bridgerton? Watch bridgerton. Bridget, what did he say? Bridgerton. Bridgerton. Or what was the other show that we watched? House of Cards. Or when we do podcasts, it's always at night. Or sometimes like we have team meetings and I moved it to the nighttime also because that's really the only time when I feel at peace. Like no one's gonna say, Mom, Scott's awake. And then I'm gonna rush to him and leave the meeting. So yeah. Also, mm -hmm. like my sister-in-law, she said her baby is like a year plus and she still wakes up like in the middle of the night to ask for milk. Even Yan Yan's kid, who's also a year plus, still wakes up in the middle of the night to ask for milk. So I guess it really is dependent on the kid, right? So don't feel bad if your baby does not sleep through the night yet. Because I think it's normal. Like, kanya kanya lang talaga yeah. yan, I think it's like being human. Yeah. Like, everybody has personality. Yeah, some babies are like, Mantika, like they can sleep the whole, like Scott, like Scott, like Slater, sleep anytime, anywhere. But like Scotty, sleep is his problem, talaga, right, love? Mm. Like it takes him a while to get to sleep. So, what the sleep trainer told us was really set up a routine, like make sure the room is dark, turn on the AC so the temperature is right, play music that he hears every single time he's, it's time to fall asleep. So, he knows that when he sees all of these cues, it's time to fall asleep. And so that's what we've been doing with Scott lately, and it's been working. So you guys might want to try that out. All right, guys, I think Scotty is awake. We are going to go see him now. Good morning, baby. Good morning. Come here. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Hello, world. How was your sleep, my love? <laughs> Show them you can crawl now. Go! Go! Go, Daddy, go! Come in! Are you sleepy, Pa? Baby? Baby, baby come here! Scott, come here! Hey, come here! Come on, Come! Come! Come here! Oi. Tired. <laughs> How about show them you can stand up now? Come, show them. Wow! Are you walking along with daddy? Wow, 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 so strong! Bye. So now, Scotty and I are, what are we gonna do, love? We're going to breastfeed. 
Scotty only feeds four times na lang now. So, it's a moment that I really cherish. Because from 12 times a day to four times a day. Oh, I'm gonna miss it when it's gone. You see yourself there? That's you? Is that you? Wow. Oh, let's show them your chair. Let's show them your chair. He has a very cute new sofa. Look at this. Show them love, okay? Use it properly, okay? One, two, three. Oh, wow! King Scotty! Oh, you want to sit on it? He doesn't want to sit on it. Ear. <laughs> oh, I don't want to sit, Mom. Okay. Crown along. Wow, wow. Oi, sleepy man. You want to eat na lang? You want to eat na lang? Hmm. Kati, Kati, Kati. <laughs> Maybe we'll eat na. Bye bye. Bye bye, world. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> yes. Yes. Kati da zombie. Kati da zombie. Goodbye! Say goodbye. We're gonna eat now. Nah. Say goodbye. Goodbye! <laughs> Bye! You'll do sit in your chair. Kapoy? Hmm? Kapoy to crawl? Goodbye. Say please subscribe. Go at you, show me at you, show me at you, show me Alright guys, it's getting late. Scott just had an amazing dinner. I'm so happy every time he finishes the food that I prepare for him and he seemed to really like it. Um, we are just changing him up now so he can get ready for bed. Come here boobs! Come here boobs! And we will call it a video. See you guys in the next one. Bye! Mwah. Say goodbye! Goodbye! Bye-bye! <laughs>